All right, we'll start off with a C67 Mustad. This is an egg caddis, very strong hook. And this is a very simple uh, but semi-realistic caddis lava I'm doing. So we've got a diner back to there with the tying thread. Get rid of that. Move that out of the way. So what we do now is we go up here again and we take a length of pearl flash that we just put in on top of the hook shank like this. We'll fold that bit over and tie that down as well. And we just go keep it on top of the hook shank all the way. This is going to be the flash on the back afterwards. So we want it to be central. So we just go down all the way like this. As far as we need to go to there. Let's put that out of the way. Try and keep it out of the way. There we go. Like so. And then we can go back up here. Like this. To there. And this is a short piece, it's about 10 centimeters for this size of hook. We need a, this is flesh colored lava lace. So we'll just tack this in a little bit at the top here because I want a tapering on the body. This will help get the body thicker at the top. So we'll just tie that down like so. And we can just go back up. And we fold this over and we go down like this, stretching the lava less as we go so it gets thinner. And we just anchor that and we'll go up a little bit more just to anchor everything and then we can come back down like that. And then we make a dubbing loop at the bottom there and then we go back up all the way keeping in the segmenting and to be behind the bead. So take a dubbing spinner and put that on the dubbing loop for the time being just to keep it out of the way. And we take our lava lace and we'll go stretching to make it tighter there and then slackening off slightly on the stretch as we go up the hook shank. This will give a thicker more segmented body like this and then the last one and then we can tie that off underneath there, just hold that in place while we secure it. Got a little bit of space behind the bead. There we are. Now we can just Stretch that lava lace before you trim it, that's it, and then it'll disappear under the tying thread. There we are. Excellent. Now we take our dubbing loop and we have to wax this now because if we don't wax it, our material will fall out. Our Here's ear dubbing, like so. Get that wax off my fingers. And we take uh, some pre prepared hair's ear dubbing. You want this place quite high in the dubbing loop because we don't want much thread showing after we spun it up. I don't need much of this. I'm going to pull it out again afterwards. We'll just go down the hook like this. There we are. I think that'll do us. 
So what we do now is we just close our threads, our loop, and we spin that up. Yeah, that's looking good, but we need to pull out all this loose stuff. We just want a spiky dubbing here. Don't throw that away, put it back with your hairs here dubbing. Just need that a little bit of a thick stuff there. There we go. I think that'll actually do us. Maybe just a little bit there. And we can give it a brush. That'll do us. Excellent. So, what we need to do now is we need to go, let me just think, around here like this. You have to go the same way as the lava lace. Firstly pull that up, I nearly forgot that. Pull your pearl flash up like that. We need two turns underneath there before we start going up. Now your pearl flash over, don't want to take your tying thread. And then we go into the rib of the lava lace. Keep the pearl flash on top of the body, like so, and then the next turn of lava lace, pull your flash over. See if I can turn that on its side and I'll show you the, no not quite, I'll have to bring it a little further up the body. So once again, pull the flash over and down. Pull the dubbing down into the gap between each turn of lava lace, like so, and there again, take that over, there again. And the last one, like so. Then we can tie that off. Remove the pearl flash, just make sure we've got it in position. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that going on there now, all the way down the back. So then we can remove that. You don't want your threads and your dubbing loops spinning up like that. Okay, we're done. I was given one of these new Danish Smern popping holders to try out. So far it's gone well. Let's tie that down. It's incredibly smooth, the bobbin, so that's a positive thing. Okay, now I just want to brush out these fibres in between each turn. You don't want much here, you just want a hint of the gills. Make it very buggy looking. A bit long that one. There we are, okay. Let's put my tying thread. Don't need a loop for this when we're doing the whole, uh, like we did when we did the whole body. We need a bit more wax, just on one side will do now. And some more hairs here, a little bit longer. this in like so and again move this up we don't want too much 
thread at the top after we've spun it up, then we can spin that up. Another thing with this bobbin is, unlike many other new bobbins that are one sided, if you know what I mean, they only have one side of the arm on. This one is very balanced. If you have only one arm, it's very difficult to control your thread when you're spinning. So, let's pull these bits out. There we are. Now we can dub up the head and tighten it in behind the bead. There we are. Very nice. Just need to brush that out afterwards and then we'll give it a whip finish. Nice. Right behind the bead head. Up nice and tight, and then we can remove that and with a toothbrush first. Just give it a good brushing, and get off all the loose hairs, and just like so. Brush all those fibers backwards. It'll get a better attitude when it's been wet. But just like that. And then what we need is some varnish. And I will show you how to varnish this. We can and turn this around so you can see probably better. Turn it this way. And when we're varnishing, what we do is we take a drop of varnish and we place it right in the hook eye and you see it disappeared under the bead from the front so you take a little bit smaller drop and you do the same again and that's disappeared so you carry on doing it until it doesn't disappear I think that's our lot Excellent. That goes, that gets soaked in under the bead and will make it a really secure bead that won't move anywhere when that's dry. And that's it. That's the flashback Caddislava.